Hey guys, thanks for dropping in for another Diecast and Diecast review. Well, this one I have been patiently waiting for for quite a while now. I uh, pre-ordered it uh, a few months ago and it finally came in today. So uh, we got the uh, 2022 Chase Elliott Bristol Dirt uh, HendrickCars.com Silverado. Uh, standard uh, 2022 Spire Motorsports box, not a race version box or anything like that. Uh, it does have a rendering of the truck and standard finish on this one. Uh, we've got Chase Elliott, number 700cars.com, race version, 2022 Silverado, one of 888. This thing is sweet, you guys. This is on the new Lionel truck uh, diecast tool for the Chevys. Uh, they got a new tool for the Fords and the Toyotas as well. Um, we'll show... I got another truck to compare to here in just a few minutes. Uh, I'll show you some of the differences uh, between this and the old version. Um, we got uh, HendrickCars.com big on the hood. Uh, lots of dirt on the nose, as to be expected from Bristol Dirt. I uh, got an outer wares over the front grill opening there. Uh, we got Simpson ARP Sunoco number seven on the right front. And on the left front, we got Spire and Goodyear above the uh, wheel wells in the front. Uh, Camper World Truck Series contingency sponsors on the front of the door here. Uh, big 7 on the door. And we got uh, Plan B Sales, Startron, and Mechanics Wear in front of the rear wheel well. Uh, Chase Elliott on the name rail with a winner sticker. And uh, this he did not win this race. Uh, he started 7th, finished 7th, drove the 7 truck. Uh, <laughs> Joey Logano was on the pole, and Ben Rhodes won the race. Um, uh, we got, uh, I think these are team sponsors on the B-pillar there. Uh, HendrickCars.com, big on the quarter panel, uh, along with the ethanol ring and Napa. Uh, we got lots of uh, damage. Looks like some tire rub damage. Um, maybe a wrinkle in the quarter panel here. Uh, some grime, some dirt, um, some pieces of tape and other things on the side of the truck here. Looks like the left rear quarter uh, tail area was smashed. Uh, right there on the corner by the tail light there. Uh, one new thing with these trucks is you can see Chevrolet is actually stamped in the tailgate right under HendrickCars.com. You can see the indentation there. That is actually an indentation, not a graphic. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got HendrickCars.com, Aspire, uh, Chevy logo, license plate, uh, and number seven. Uh, we get the spoiler supports. Uh, big Napa on the deck lid along with Elliott on the back window. Um, I'm going to pan back here a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Look how twisted the top of the cab is, like the back window area. And then look at that rear spoiler. I'm not holding the truck at a goofy angle. I'm not holding the camera at a goofy angle. That is how these new trucks are. Look at the, the rake in that tail. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, got the uh, dirt tires, obviously. Uh, treaded tires, I should say. One other thing on the bottom of the truck. Look at the dirt on the bottom of the spoiler. Uh, splitter there. Uh, that's another uh, another detail they added. That's pretty cool. Um, down the right side of the truck, we'll finish the truck up here, and then I'm going to show you some differences between the new tool and the old tool. Um, we got uh, some wrap uh, damage, like a tire rub in the wrap here on the left rear quarter panel. Uh, HendrickCars.com, Napa, number seven. Lots of dirt in the white here that you can see on the right side of the truck. Uh, open window, of course, and we got uh, DIN number 820 on this truck. Um, lots of dirt on the windshield, along with Camping World. Uh, big number 7 on the roof with some dirt on it. Uh, one roof flap. Uh, I think all the I think the old truck had one roof flap, too. Um, the hood is a little bit different on these. I'm going to go ahead and grab another truck to compare to here now. Uh, look at the difference in the back of the hood. The hood goes all the way to the uh, windshield on these ones here. Uh, the new ones, the old one, had kind of the tried and true uh, old style airbox opening and all that stuff. Um, the old truck, you can see a lot more body line detail in the uh, hood. Uh, the nose is quite a bit different on the new truck. You can see how it bulges out compared to the old truck here. Um, splitter is a lot more pronounced maybe on this new truck. Um, the spoiler tail angle, you can't really see that too great here. I'll try and get a 
better angle of it. Maybe look at the bottom of the trucks. I don't know. You can kind of see see the difference there. I mean, on the tail, but uh, <clears throat> you can. If I move the box, you can kind of see right there on that. You can really see that spoiler angle difference there. It's like the right side of the the newer truck is longer than the left side of the truck, and it uh, makes the tail. Uh, goofy, you know, goofy angle there. The cab, you can see how the cab is twisted like I was kind of showing before. Kind of reminds me of like the uh, 03 to 06, 07 uh, Cub Cars, the Twisted Sister. Um, but uh, hats off to Lionel for actually uh, actually making these trucks exactly how they are in real life or as close as they could um, and redoing the tool uh, because, you know, Chevy didn't come out with a new, uh, new truck uh toyota and ford did but chevy's truck is basically the same so they could have kept the same tool and kept on going but they didn't uh so hats off to them good job um this one's cool if you're a chase elliott guy you got to get one uh i uh like i say i was waiting patiently for this and really glad i got it it's it's a cool truck they knocked it out of the park so that's all i got on this one guys we'll catch you on the next one